Hi everyone, in this video we are going to code the hero section of our website. Now before jumping into code, we need to understand how this hero is coded so we can reverse engineer it. Now, uh, we are going to have two parts. We have two parts. The first part is this the top part and then we have these brands down at the bottom and we can see that the section actually has a curvy finish. We are going to do that using border radius. So within these two parts, so first we are going to have the section with the class of hero which we have already created and we know how that works and within there we are going to have a content div and then a brands div Within the content, we are going to have this part on the left and the part on the right. So the part on the left, I've called it uh, main info, and the part on the right is basically content image. So without further ado, let's jump into coding. I'm going to grab the hero. I'm going to hit enter. So the first part is going to be the content, and then the second part is going to be brands. This is how I'm going to code this. So the first div is going to say hero underscore underscore content. Let me copy this class because we're going to need it a lot. Now within the content, what do we have? So within the content, we have two parts. One is main info. The other one is the image. So let's create those. So this is going to be main info. And the other one is going to be content image. There we go. So within the main info, uh, main dash info, Let's copy this one as well. So what do we have within the main info? We have the most important title, that is main title. So that is going to be an H1, and I'm going to give it an ID of main dash title. So it is unique. Within the H1, we are going to have uh, exclusive, exclusive. Then a span, because we are going to uh, style this agency word differently than the rest of them. So exclusive agency for technology solution. This is the uh, title, the main title. And then let's jump into the main paragraph. So main para. The main para is going to have an ID of main dash para. And there we go. So we, I'm going to say we are uh, tech D, a creative uh, tech agency. There we go. Just some dummy content that I've come up with. Uh, you can change it however you want. After the paragraph, we have the form. And the form for the form, I'm going to use a container. And that is the form container. So I'm going to say form. And I'm going to call it registration. So let's say form, uh, it, this one is going to have a class of main info underscore underscore registration. Let's get rid of the action. There we go. So within the form, the first field set that we're going to have is going to be the email. So let's say field set. Now we are going to have an icon and then the input. So the icons class is fa dash solid and the other class is going to be fa dash envelope this is the class for the icon uh, the input is going to be a type of email and the placeholder is going to say type your email email so this is the email field set let's just copy that put it down here oops Copy that, put it down here. And this one is going to be password. And for the text, we are uh, just going to say password. Password. There is two A's, we need two S's. Uh, the icon is going to be different, of course. The icon is going to say user. Let's save that. So the final thing within the form that we need to do is the submit button. So submit, and that is going to be input with a type of submit. If I can spell it correctly, submit. And the value, which is going to be the text for the input, it is going to say register. Let's save that. So we are done with the form as well. Uh, let's jump into the content image. This is going to be a div uh, that is going to say 
hero underscore underscore content dash dash img and this is going to be an image element the reason that i provide it within the div is because divs are really better because they're block level elements uh, they're better uh, used for alignment and it just provides a better concrete container um, arrangement for our elements if they are neatly arranged within block level elements now you need to keep that in mind that your elements they need to be within block level elements the arrangement of block level elements is easier than span or than inline level elements that's why div is by far the most used pro uh, html element so within the images folder we're going to jump into hero and from there we're going to grab at the part park so walking the dog is going to be the alt let's jump into the uh, brands i'm going to say hero underscore underscore brands uh, i'm going to have three images and uh, let's see how we can do this better so each of the images is going to have a source the source is going to refer to images and from there we're going to go to hero and from there we are going to have different ones um let's see what else i don't think anything else oops uh we need three of these okay what am i doing we need three of these uh okay three hit enter save that so we have image one image two and then we have image three okay is there any issue here so let's go back so alt this is image two and this is image three there we go so this one the first one is going to be um instagram i guess yeah instagram and the second one is going to be bootstrap bootstrap the third one let's just click there as well is going to be dribble save all of them i'm going to get rid of these two dot pngs there we go so we are done with the um, hero section and if we take a look at that let's just dive in here so in here what do we have uh, we have all of our content and the image it's it looks like it is halved the reason for that is uh, because we have specified a fixed height for our sections now this is the issue with fixed height the content has to decide the height not you have to it, it's not like the other way around like you have to decide the height for the content no the content has to decide the height for you that is when you're going to end up with a fluid system now this is not fluid because you can't see the image now you could say okay i'm going to decrease the width of the image and put it on the right but when you decrease the width of the window the image is going to get smaller but you're going to end up with a gigantic section that is going to have a lot of uh, a white space so with this our lecture comes to an end in the next one we are going to style this section see you then